This tape is on the manipulation of algebraic fractions, chapter H. An ordinary algebraic fraction contains a fraction-free numerator and denominator. For example, x squared minus 5 over x plus 2. A fraction that is complex has fractions in the numerator and or the denominator. I'm going to use a short form for numerator, N-U-M, and or denominator. I'll use D-E-N as a short form for denominator. For example, x squared over 3 minus 5 over x plus 2 over 7. All complex fractions are expected to be simplified to ordinary ones. Another expectation is that algebraic fractions must be expressed in their simplest form or reduced to their lowest terms. In other words, algebraic fractions containing factors in common between the numerator and denominator must be divided out of the expression. For example, let's take x a squared minus x b x squared b also squared divided by x squared times a minus b. Now this is an ordinary fraction but not in its simplest form. Notice that we have a common factor x between the two terms here in the numerator. So factor out this common factor and write x times 
a squared minus x b squared over x squared times a minus b. This will reduce the denominator to simply x and the solution to the problem, which is to simplify the expression, is minus x b squared over x times a minus b. Here is another example. x a squared minus x b squared divided by x squared times a minus b. Again, we have an ordinary fraction, but it's not simplified. This appears to be similar to the earlier example, but it is not. If you'll notice, this term has x squared, whereas this one does not. It has simply x. Factors, recall, are things that are multiplied to produce products. And so, if we take x out as a common factor in the numerator, we can write x multiplied by a squared minus b squared. Similarly, or at least simply uh, continuing, we have in the denominator x squared and a minus b. You recall your methods of factoring. You can see that we have a difference of square in the numerator, and so we can continue to produce, work out the solution. So a squared minus b squared is written as a minus b times a plus b over x squared times a minus b. Factors may be divided out of the expression to simplify it. And consequently, we can see that a minus b divided into both the numerator and denominator will result in the removal of that amount. Similarly, x divided into the numerator and denominator will remove this amount, changing the x squared to x. We end up simply with a plus b over what we have left below is the x. Here is another example. 3 plus 2 multiplied by x plus y over 2 plus 3 multiplied by x plus y. You will notice that there seems to be a 3 both in the numerator and in the denominator, a 2 in both the numerator and the denominator, and x plus y and x plus y within brackets, which is to be treated as a unit. Now, 2 is a factor, 3 is a term, 2 multiplied by x plus y is a term, and there are no factors in common in the entire numerator, nor is there a common factor in the entire denominator. 32a cubed, b cubed, over 64 a squared. Continuing with this example, we can see that 32 is a factor of 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 several times, 5, followed by a, 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 and b, 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 over, now this will have 6 twos followed by two a's and followed by a b, if you fraction to its simplest form. In this case, we're left with an a, a couple of b's, which when multiplied mean a b squared, divided by two. Of course, here is another example. Let's take 5x minus 35 divided by 15x. 
So let's take out that common factor. Write 5 times x minus 7. And below, we have 15x, something that looks like this in your solution. Take 5, drop 15 to a 3, and end up with x plus, or sorry, x minus 7 over 3x. A squared divided by 14a squared followed by minus 7ab. Take a little more care. 7 and a are common factors of that entire denominator. And minus b in the brackets. 7 into 21 is 3. a into a squared is a. And I have then the following amount left as the final solution. 3a on top divided by 2a minus b. Here is another example. We have 2x plus 6 over 3ax plus 9. Factor the numerator and denominator, and we have 2 followed by x plus 3. Divided by 3y squared minus 3x squared. These questions will get a bit more complicated as we go on. Well, 3 is certainly a factor of the entire numerator, and we can write 3 times. In the denominator, we can write 3 y squared minus x squared. Looking at that denominator should remind you that we are working with a difference of squares here. So now, what you want to do is to rewrite that in the following way. All over 3, y minus x times y plus x. Now, if you examine the numerator, here is a factor x plus y. Well, that's the same as y plus x. It's simply the entire denominator. We can drop them from the fraction. This leaves us with, and the denominator, that can be dropped, and that's the threes. We have no factors left on top except for one. We will always have one. And in the denominator, we have y minus x. And the given problem is now reduced to its simplest form. In another example, I have b plus c quantity squared divided by minus ACX followed by minus ABX. B plus C, quantity squared, let's have a look at it in this form. B plus C times B plus C, since from the denominator as well. So I'm going to be looking at minus AX followed by positive c, positive b. Factors, and so we can cancel those out of the expression, and we're left with b plus c over minus ax. Now, the negative sign in the denominator must not always end up in the numerator, and so we write negative b plus c over ax. We have 4 minus y over 3y minus 12. 4 minus y cannot be factored further. If I put a minus sign in front of this bracket, I can turn the terms around 
so that the expression is the same as that in the denominator. This is equal to negative 1 over 3. Another example is uh, d squared minus 49 over 14 minus 2d. The difference of squares are factored into d minus 7 multiplied by d plus 7. In the denominator, the common factor is 2, and that's 7 minus d. So d minus 7 followed by d plus 7 over a minus 2, now d minus 7, sign in the top part of the fraction. So we write d minus d plus 7 in brackets and a 2 below. A final example, we have x, w minus x quantity squared. over x squared minus w squared. This is, of course, the same as w minus x times itself. In, in the uh, denominator, we have a difference of squares, and consequently, we can factor that. We write x minus w times x plus w w minus x is just the x minus w turned around, and we can change that, switch that one over. One switch will introduce one. So it's x minus w, but this one will have to say, stay the way it was. One switch of terms only. And below here, we have x minus w times x plus w, and consequently, we'll go this way. Take that off and take that off, since they're matching pairs of similar, of, of equivalent factors. This becomes minus w minus x over the x plus w. Ends up with negative w, positive x, but we'll write x first. w minus x. In the denominator, we have x plus w. The next topic is division. And for division of algebraic fractions, in general, if we are given a over b divided by c over d, where as before, A, B, C, and D are algebraic expressions. Then the rule that involves division by fractions must be applied to convert the problem into multiplication, which is an easier operation. So you take the fraction a over b and leave it as you see it, but then a over b divided by c over d is equal to a over b again times d over c. This is a general approach applied when dividing by a fraction. You change the problem into an easier problem, which is multiplication. So therefore, we will explain this on the board when Dividing by an algebraic fraction
take the reciprocal. of the following fraction and change the divided by sign to a multiply sign. For example, each of the questions solved for you earlier could have started as a division question, as in C over A plus B divided by 2C squared plus 2C over 5A plus B. 5A plus 5B. See, that is the same question done earlier, except that I've got this twisted around now, but I have a division symbol there. Forgotten this, rewind the tape and look over that example again. So we simply write it like this, a plus b times 5a plus 5b over 2c squared plus 2c, and continue like we did earlier. Here's another example. It's a new one. 4x squared minus 1 divided by 9x minus 3x squared divided by 2x squared minus 9x plus 4 divided by x squared minus 7x plus 12. Now, since this problem involves division, the first thing to look after is to change the division symbol to a multiplication one and take the reciprocal of the following fraction. So that's what we will do uh, now. 9x minus 3x squared multiplied by x squared minus 7x plus 12 divided by 2x squared minus 9x plus 4 factor all of the parts of the two fractions where possible. It appears that every one of them will be factored. 2x minus 1 times 2x plus 1. Followed by 3x times 3 minus x in the denominator. In the numerator here we have that x minus 3 times x minus 4 is the, are the factors for that. Here we have a trinomial again. Leading coefficient is not 1. Uh, let's use the trial and error method, and if we're lucky, we'll get the factors in the first attempt. Uh, certainly, this will be 2x followed by x over there to make 2x squared. Now, uh, if we take minus, it'll have to be minus because of the minus sign here. It'll be minus times a minus because of the plus sign over there. So let's try minus 1 and minus 4. Well, we certainly have a lot of factors that look alike. We have 2x minus 1 on top here, which is the same as 2x minus 1 below there. We have the x minus 4 there. That's the same as the x minus 4 there. The final answer is negative 2x plus 1 divided by 3x.